good. I'm just going to show you how you can create a sort of abstract line design in Illustrator using the Wit Stamp tool. It comes with Wit Scribe 2 from Astute Graphics. Now, I've actually got a line over here that I've been just creating. You can just see here, it's got no fill and it's got black stroke, six points. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue with that path. So I'm just going to go to the pen tool, just click on there again, and just continue with that. So I'm just create a more complex abstract design. Obviously, I just didn't want to create all that before in during the video. So it just takes a bit of time. But you can create obviously any abstract design just by just clicking just like that cross design. And once you're happy with that, and I'm just going to finish in a few seconds because I don't want to create thousands of points. So right, finish there. Now I've got an image here. The wit stamp tool works with images as well as other other parts as well in the Illustrator. And I'm just gonna drag it over to the design. I mean it's pretty good there already straight away just by creating an abstract just across it. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn it into a line design with sort of width profile settings, and this is what the wit stamp tool does. You can't see the wit stamp, obviously it's a plugin, like I say, from Astute Graphics. So there it is the panel and in previous videos I've been showing make with preset and this time I'm going to make with top object this is a top object the abstract design so just going to click make with top object and there you have it you can still see well, very approximately the actual thing obviously you can actually create thousands of points you can just make it even more detailed but this is obviously very wide points so just, there's quite a bit of gaps there and you can modify the actual Intensity of it there. I'm just going to bring bits in or make it much lighter or much darker. I'm going to make the increased. And it all works on the basic of the width profile here, so you can actually see the line. But when it goes too, too great, where it's going to 22, you can barely see anything. So, so I'm just going to keep it at 10 point, but it will depend on the image size of the document, etc. Yeah, no, I could have used presets, but this is just a way of showing you quickly you can use it with any parser. Okay, I'm now going to release that. Don't want to go with that one. And I'm going to still use this, but I'm going to hold the Alt key down and I'm going to create another parse. So you make obviously far more complicated abstract design. And I don't have to go with keeping like that. Of course, I can just rotate the design. So I'm just going to maybe scale it so reduce it down a bit in size maybe change the there right and I'm just going to move that out of the way slightly because so what the next one to do is that it says make with top object it requires it to be top object so the way around that is to just do object and group so it's all one single object okay so now just going to go over here with this image Move that out so you can actually see it. Make with top object. Right, again, you've got the, you can just about see, <laughs> just about the image. You can just see it as you make it a bit more darker in certain places. Okay, you can see the actual, there you, you can actually see now the abstract design and of course I can create more and more parts so I don't actually have to just go with that initial group I can make a group a group of group and build up a very very complex line design drawing which you can create very abstract drawing using this plugin so you can obviously anything has to, it can be curved designs it doesn't have to be straight lines this is obviously in this quick run through was just showing you with straight lines there's also many other settings that you can modify so you can actually trim the contours so you can actually see the original all those lines have been trimmed this one just trims it so bang it all goes just cuts it into basically to the the bounding box there also you can modify the color so all settings so instead of going with that use undercoat and I'm just gonna maybe make that red quick and easy to do that click OK hope you found this quick tutorial of interest thank you much